Hey guys, it is Friday again, which means I've got five of this week's best stories in gaming all ready to go for you. Here's the good stuff. The Division may have been delayed until 2016, but it's not for lack of people working on it, since there are now four different Ubisoft studios developing the game. This week, Ubisoft Annecy has joined Massive, Red Storm, and Reflections, who were already contributing to the game. Annecy originally worked on Rayman 2, as well as Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, and Assassin's Creed 2's multiplayer mode. The plan is for them to contribute their prior experience with multiplayer online games to the division's development. And hopefully, with all that manpower, we'll actually get to see it early next year, like Ubisoft have suggested. Classic RPG Grandia 2 was pretty damn popular back in the day and now it's on its way to Steam. Gung Ho Online Entertainment America said they received enthusiastic feedback for the creation of a remaster after a survey conducted in April and decided to bring the game to PC. The game will also have mouse and keyboard and gamepad support as well as Steam achievements and trading cards. Gung Ho America President Jun Iwasaki said, quote, Grandia 2 was chosen for a PC re-release because it represents both a hallmark of the Grandia series and an example of how great JRPGs can be. The game is best known for its innovative battle system. This week in Cheap Things, Xbox Live has unveiled their latest deals with gold. Discounted games include Destiny, Saints Row Gat Out of Hell, and Saints Row 4 for Xbox One. If you have an Xbox 360, you can still get Destiny and Saints Row cheap, but you'll also be able to get a load of Gears of War Judgment DLC packs for less, as well as Saints Row the Third. These deals are all good until May 18. The Xbox One is officially the best-selling console in April, according to the NPD's latest figures. Sony's PS4 took out the top spot in March, but the tables have turned for last month. Microsoft VP of Marketing Mike Nichols said, quote, Xbox One console sales in the US increased 63% in April 2015, compared to April 2014. And Xbox Live comparisons showed the number of active global users for Xbox One and Xbox 360 grew 24%. Sony still hold their own, however, selling more software for PS4 than Microsoft did for Xbox One in the month of April, and it remains the number one console in overall sales. Survival games have become something of a niche hit, and now there's one with a crap load of dinosaurs in it. Developer Wildcard Studios announced open-world dinosaur game Ark Survival Evolved this week. The game is currently in development for PC, Xbox One, and PS4, and it's slated to come to early access in June. The studio says they've been inspired by dinosaur movies like The Land Before Time, Dinotopia, and Jurassic Park. They've said they hope the game will be, quote, one of the most ambitious, hardcore, large-scale survival experiences ever developed. Advised. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you think dinosaurs could be the next craze in gaming and if you're on board with that. This week on Slight, I tell you all about great games based on books on the gist, top GTA 5 mods returns, and Lucy goes over the worst season passes. Those are all the things that I have for you from this week, but as always, let me know what mattered to you and I'll catch you again on Monday.